So what's the Grape Explorer talking about today? So if you all know me, I'm very passionate about Bordeaux and we have uh, what we call our Bordeaux series where we try to explain a particular chateau that's Grand Cru Class A and really top at their game. This one right here is called Chateau Pop Clément and um, we wanted to at least uh, show you this is a, a 2020 which was a magnificent vintage in Bordeaux. Uh, had a chance to secure some uh, allocations of 2020 had fallen on the heels of the 19 and if you know I've been talking about the 19 and the 20 but they're two entirely different vintages um, I, I look at 2020 and I and I just it's muscle it's just very very power so uh, but Pop Clement for if you're not sure where Pesac Lignon is or you don't know the story is right here so you've got downtown Bordeaux right here the magnificent city of Bordeaux and uh, Pesac Lignon which is this uh, Appellation right here but it goes right up into here and these are the closest vineyards that exist next to uh, downtown Bordeaux. Historically all of the negotiants used to have all of their offices here which was called the Quay and this is the River Gironde right here. So all the boats back in the 1700s and the 1800s, they would load up their wines here, and then the boats would come out to the river here, and then they would come out to the Atlantic on their way to uh, other places, notably England back in the day, because the English were a lot, they would, they would actually buy the barrels and bottle the wines in England. But let's talk about this property because it's a very, very fascinating property. As we zoom in here, also, this is Ferret's book. You can actually see uh, the next door neighbor is Chateau Aubriand to Pop Clement. But um, let's talk also about Bernard Magray. So Bernard Magray, who is the owner of this vineyard, and I want to show you the back here, and you can see Bernard. Uh, I had a chance to um, first meet Bernard about 30 years ago, and uh, he owned a, a company, William Pitters. And at that time, William Pitters was a a negotiant company, uh, very big in uh, wine and in spirits. Uh, so Bernard, bigger than life, uh, when I first met them, um, you know, he uh, obviously, you could see that he was a very uh, energetic businessman and uh, really struck his fortune, you know, with this company. And, you know, uh, the, the old saying in the wine business, and a lot of us can attest, you need a very large fortune to make a very small fortune in the wine business. It's, it's true. But this gentleman did the opposite. He actually, he actually started out uh, in, with William Pitters and created what they call a dynasty. And he's actually a billionaire. Uh, but what, what happened with this chap is after forming William Pitters and becoming a very formidable uh, player in the wine and spirits business, started to buy some chateaus. So he ended up buying this property, which is the gem you know, property. Uh, Pop Clement's got a beautiful history. If you really don't know the history, we're going back to 1252. As you might be able to uh, guess, it's actually named Pop Clement because uh, the cardinals in 1305 elected Bertrand de Goff, who was actually French uh, and was from Bordeaux, and they renamed him Clement V, where he took the property and the historic name. And then what happens here is, you know, Clement, being a French pope, they took the Vatican from Rome and then they put it into Avignon. If you ever want to go to Avignon and you actually see the Vatican there, that's why they call it Chateauneuf du Pop. So we got a lot of stories to tell about this property, but the most impressive thing is this is one of the top wines in all of Pesac Lignon. And I uh, got a chance to actually taste the 22 out of barrel which uh, as everybody knows, I'm very high in 22. I think it's great. So I'll read, you know, I'll read my notes here. Deep dark color, garnet highlights, a very alluring nose of ripe cassis, raspberry, menthol, spices, chewy, dense in the mouth, nice mineral tone up front, lovely berry tone finish, well-placed tannins and saline accents and a long finish, quite nice. I gave this 95, 96 with a plus sign, meaning I think that it's going to elevate to even higher. So we all, everybody knows in Pesac Lignon, if you know Bordeaux, if you don't, I will explain. You have Chateau Aubriand and then Le Mission Aubriand. Those are the two rock stars, I say, of Pesac Lignon. Then there's a pecking order that goes down. And then you've got Obaye. We have discussed them before. 
and you've got Smith Olafidis inching their way up, but who's really strong in this position is Pop Clement. Uh, Michel Roland, our friend uh, Michel is the consulting enologist, uh, and he has been for the last uh, 20 years. Uh, they make this wine powerful. They got a lot of Cabernet, so it's 60% Cabernet. Then it's close to about 38% Merlot. And you got two different parcels that are, that are important here because the Cabernet is in a gravel soil, Grave, which is quite famous for the, the name of the Appellation, Grave. And then the Merlot is lying in clay. It's a very special parcel. You put those two together and then they have a dash of Petit Verdot and Cabernet Franc in there to make very powerful, dense wines. And I want to show people, uh, this is the interesting thing about Bordeaux when you buy futures and we actually bought these wines on futures what does that mean that means that we buy the wine in barrel before it's bottled and um, what they do is uh, um, because we have allocations they actually tell us that you have what's called pre-bottling instructions if you want to you can take this 750 instead of bottling it on a 750 you can put it in magnum so so you have uh, a, a box of 12 of these become six of these and why do we do that? Because Magnums age longer than the 750s. This, this is a wine that'll age close to 30 years just based on, um, just based on its, uh, the, the, the amount of wine in here, longer than this wine. Well, why do you say that? Well, because of the size of the bottle and these are all hand bottled too. So this is all very careful. Pop Clemon is beautiful because it's all embossed with the, uh, the Pope's uh, in signature right here. So you can see this right here. Very few Bordeaux have this embossed in boss glass artwork right here. You've got also Bernard uh, McGregor, the, uh, the owner of this property. But when we do this pre-bottling -pre instructions, we bottle this wine because you're going to see less magnums in the marketplace, obviously. When you go to your local wine store and you see Pop Clement, uh, I guarantee you're going to see more of the 750. So these are quite rare. So that's the reason why we bottle that, because we feel that it gives us the opportunity to be able to have something that down the road could, could actually increase in value and price. Uh, Pop Clement, beautiful property. But wanted to really share this with you because I think it's important to, to note that uh, Bordeaux is very special because nobody does this pre-bottling instruction. Usually, you know, even in Napa, they'll bottle magnums and everything, but they really don't sell futures in California or Napa Valley. So chances are you not be able to get a choice of doing something like this. So beautiful property, Pop Clement, one of the rock stars in all of Bordeaux. Again, this is David Cole, the Grape Explorer, always here to show beautiful, beautiful Grand Cru Classe Bordeaux. Cheers.